In this tutorial, I'll show you how to import, crop and adjust pictures, and also how to wrap text around a picture. I'm starting with one of the theme layout templates included with Page Plus. Page 2 of this layout provides placeholder picture frames for you to add your own pictures. You can add pictures individually, or you can add multiple pictures to the media bar at the bottom of the workspace, and then drag them onto your page as you need them. We'll look at both methods. To add a single picture to this large picture frame, I click inside the frame. Now I just browse to find my picture file and click open. The picture is added to the frame and scaled to fit. When a framed picture is selected, the picture frame toolbar displays beneath it. I can use these tools to adjust my picture inside its frame. For example, I can zoom in and out, or use the pan tool to reposition the picture. If you're working with lots of pictures, you may prefer to add them all at once to the media bar before adding them to the pages of your document. To do this, click in the blank area of the media bar or click the Add Image button. Then select the images you want to add. You can also click the Add Folder button to add all images contained in a particular folder. My pictures display as thumbnails in the media bar and all I have to do is drag one directly onto a picture frame. Once you've added a picture to a frame, it's easy to replace it. Simply drag a different photo onto the frame, or click the Replace Picture button, and then browse to your replacement image. OK, let's move to page 1 now. I'm going to add a large image to this page, but first I'll delete the elements I don't want. Now I'll add a new picture frame. To do this, I expand the picture flyout, Select the rectangular picture frame, and then click and drag to place my frame. Now I'll drag my photo from the media bar, and use the pan tool to reposition it. To increase the contrast of this photo, I can just click the Increase Contrast button on the Picture Context toolbar. You can also use the controls on this toolbar to increase and decrease brightness, and to apply auto levels and auto contrast adjustments. To complete the cover title, let's add a design from the Gallery tab. I'll use this bird silhouette. Now I'll recolor it using one of the scheme colors displayed at the bottom of the Swatches tab. I want to make this an inline image and anchor it to my title. With the image selected, I click Arrange, Anchor Object. In the Anchor Object Properties dialog, I'll select Position Inline as Character, and I'll choose to align it with the middle of the line of text. Back on my page, the anchor icon shows that this is an anchored image. If I now move the title text, the image moves with it. Great, my cover page is finished. Let's return to page 2 and complete this tutorial by looking at text wrapping and cropping. This time I'll just drag a picture directly onto my page without placing it inside a picture frame. I click Wrap Settings, and then set my wrap options. You can see that the text now wraps nicely around my picture. Now let's crop the photo. Click the Crop tool, then click and drag a crop handle. As I do this, notice that the text wrap adjusts to fit the new dimensions of the picture. To reposition the crop area, I can just click and drag directly on the picture. Well, that concludes this tutorial. You should now be feeling comfortable combining text and pictures in your own publications.